Happy New Year's, everyone. I just wanted to take the time to wish everyone a Happy New Year, New Year's and wish you health, good health, love, peace, definitely a peace of mind, and prosperity, more money, um, but again, no money in the world would ever, ever fix anything that's not about peace and health, right? No matter how much health you have, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, no matter how much money you have, there's no health that can be healed if you have health issues. No matter how much money you have, I'm sorry. It's not gonna pay for good health. But anyway, I just wanna keep this positive. Um, I haven't been on here for a minute. Um, I mean, it's like a week or so to whatever. But still, I haven't forgotten about everyone that's following me. I'm appreciative and I hope to have more followers for 2020. Please definitely message me if, um, if there's anything you would like for me to cover. There's still so many wonderful things that will be happening soon and people I will be sitting down with and speaking with, interviewing with. Um, everything is timing, everything is scheduling, but, um, I've had a peaceful New Year's Eve. I vis I visited some neighbors. Um, I spent time with my mother. I, so I definitely do hope that you guys have had some wonderful time with your family members. Life is short. Life is precious. Um, I'm trying, I'm slowly trying different things, meeting with dif different people, sitting down with different um sitting down with actually different people so i'm excited for this new year um again um you know we're all not, we're not perfect right i'm not perfect we're human beings we struggle i'm in physical pain every day um but what's important is that we keep getting up every time life knocks us down we keep getting up and we get up that's what's the beautiful thing about it. What's important is that we get up. All right? This is red wine. We all get knocked down on our knees. But what's important is the fact that we get up. That's what's important. But apply no pressure to the fact that you get up and think that immediately you need to figure out what to do. Absolutely not. You do not have to immediately figure out what to do. You do not. It may take some time. Do not apply yourself some pressure on, okay, I got knocked down, I got up. What do I need to do now? It might take a few days, it might take weeks, it might take months. Do not apply yourself so much pressure. Think about that for the new year, guys. For the new year, please. I, and, and I say this with experience because I have to deal with my anxiety. I have to deal with trying to figure out, trying to figure out um, every time I get knocked down on my knees and I have to get up. I know now it took years to figure it out, but I know now I don't have to figure it out right away. As long as you get up, that's what's important. It's the getting up. That's all. So for 2020, 
whatever didn't make you move emotionally, basically moved you emotionally. Whatever didn't inspire you, let it go for the new year. If it inspire you in 2019, it's not going to inspire you from in 2020. Love is about some simplicity. Love does not hurt. Love is not complicated. If it is, if it feels like it in 2019, it's going to continue feeling like it in 2020. So let it go. Okay? If you haven't figured it out, your problems, guess what? It takes time. Nothing is resolved overnight. You're going to be okay, guys. Please, you're going to be okay. I do this, I say this, and I practice what I preach, and I remind myself every day. I say to myself, K. Okay, I need to practice what I preach and I need to figure out what I'm going to do, but I need to take time in figuring out what I do. I'm not going to apply pressure in 24 hours. I need to figure out everything. No, take your time. And also continue going with your gut feeling about everything. Friendships, relationships, everything. Do not ignore your gut feeling for 2020. If your gut feeling is telling you it doesn't feel right and there's red flags everywhere, I don't need to tell you what the red flags know. I mean, I don't need to tell you what the fr fr red flags are. <laughs> Excuse me. You know what they are because you feel it in your gut. And we tend to question things because we want to feel and think the best for people as much as we want to. Let's not bring that from last year to the new year. Listen to your gut feeling. See the red flags and not, and not think that you're being too dramatic over it. No, you're not being too dramatic over it and over emotional. We need to listen to our gut feeling. Um, especially us women, we tend to um, think that, oh, I don't wanna be emotional. No, there are red flags there. I had red flags a week ago. Listened, I listened to them and I followed up. The red flags are red flags. You get to a certain age, we cannot support red flags and say, oh, it may be okay. No. Your happiness, your heart, your well-being, physically and emotionally is very important. So I say this, guys, with genuine heart and love for my soul. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following me. Thank you for supporting me. Please share with your friends. I cannot wait to show you the things I have for 2020. I really cannot. It's coming, I promise you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. I love my family, no matter how much they drive me crazy. <laughs> I love them all. Thank you so much for your support. Please hit subscribe, hit the notification button. There is more to come in 2020. I'm not lying to you guys. I cannot, wear, cannot wait to share with you the things that I've been working on. It's been in the mix, I promise you. Thank you for being patient. But it's coming soon. Hope you had a safe New Year's and continue to have a safe New Year's. Because it's still, it's 2.15. I'm not going to go to bed soon. But thank you guys. Bye. Take care and be kind to one another. And 
Be safe, good health, prosperity. Please. Mm.